May. Goodness, you step outside and you think you stepped into the middle of May. It is incredibly warm and humid. Temperatures everywhere well above where they should be. We've got the 50s and 60s. Now, of course, we've got cloud cover holding in yesterday's heat, and we've got a lot of winds coming in out of our south. Well, temperatures will continue to go up as we have peaks of sunshine and we've got compression from our system that's going to move in from our west pushing eastward. As it does, temperatures will spike breaking records all across the east coast. We're looking to get into the 80s. Now here is our system currently edging through. It's a very strong cold front. Notice already we've got some tornado watches in place. We even had some tornado warnings earlier on. So highs this afternoon are going to top out in the 70s as well as the 80s across the viewing area. When it comes to the system throughout today, the entire day, we're going to have wind sustained 15 to 25 miles per hour gusting into the 30s. During the system itself, while well, the timing is looking to take place from 2 to 8 o'clock, we'll have clearing from the northwest to the southeast. So I'm seeing Goochland, Louisa, y'all are going to be more so in this 2, 3 o'clock hour. Down to the 8 o'clock hour, that's going to be more so towards the northern neck and down towards Petersburg. The main threat with this system is going to be high winds, straight line winds at times as the system will begin to approach. So we could potentially have some power outages, but still we cannot roll out some isolated tornadoes. I don't want to scare you, but you need to be prepared. So please listen and please plan accordingly. We'll continue to pinpoint the time frame coming up in just a few short minutes. Rob, Reba. All right, thanks, Nikki D. As we wait